Smart Stains Surface Prep and Application Smart stains may be applied over all metals with minimal surface preparation. To begin, sandblasting a metal part is always preferable for preparation. Sandblasting is not required for smart stain application, but it does give a considerable higher amount of tooth to the metal surface before applying the smart stain. Once your part is sandblasted and lightly abraded, you're ready to move on to the cleaning step. Metal cleaners include the Sculpt Nouveau Metal Cleaner, Graffiti Remover, and Isopropyl Alcohol. Any strength of isopropyl alcohol may be used to clean the metal surface. Use a Scotch-Brite pad to work the metal cleaner into the metal surface. Here, Ron is using a Scotch-Brite pad to work the Sculpt Nouveau Metal Cleaner into the surface of the metal. This step is critical to removing any oil or any kind of residue on the metal surface that might prevent bonding by the smart stain to the raw metal surface. Once you're finished scrubbing the surface with the metal cleaner, you're ready to remove any remaining residue of metal cleaner with some clean water. It is important to use a clean cloth to wipe off any residue so that no oil is put back on to the otherwise clean metal part. Once the metal surface is completely dry to the touch, you're ready to begin your smart stain application. Keep in mind that these preparation steps apply to all metals as smart stain is a non-reactive patina and will work over a variety of metal surfaces. For this application, we're going to combine smart stain black with smart stain brown, and then we're going to dilute it 50% with smart coat. By diluting the concentration of smart stain with smart coat, we're able to obtain translucent or transparent washes of color without altering the strength of the finished coating. Keep in mind that smart stain and smart coat are air drying materials that work best in a warm working environment of 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit with low ambient humidity. Smart stain may be applied by brush, roller, or sprayer to all metal surfaces. For this application we'll be using a roller. We're using a microfiber roller and a quality paintbrush. When applying smart stain by roller, remember that less is more. A small amount of smart stain on your roller will be enough to achieve a good surface coat. You want to prevent drips and runs by putting on a minimal amount onto your roller. Smart stain is fast drying, so make sure if you do get a drip or a run to immediately work back over that area lightly to remove the drips and runs that might occur. This is critical because once smart stain has cured completely, drips and runs are very difficult to remove and very difficult to conceal. When using light washes of color, a single application can be used or multiple applications can be used depending on the desired color saturation. A high quality brush such as a purdy brush can be used to go in and touch up some of the more difficult areas that are difficult to access by roller. Keep in mind that rollers typically skip over areas that are recessed or areas that might be slightly raised and might create areas that have not received adequate color penetration. In an average 70 to 80 degree working environment, smart stain will dry to the touch in about 30 minutes. Keep in mind that warmer environments, smart stain will dry faster, whereas colder environments will retard the drying time. Smart Stain will cure to a tough abrasion and scratch resistant coating in one to two days. For more information and application tips and to order Smart Stain, go to our website at sculptnouveau.com.